This is just an incredibly specific niche issue I ran into fairly recently, and I, there was no concrete explanation of how to get around this online, so I thought I'd just throw this together on the off chance it helps someone. This is, should really be second channel material, but the quality of the second channel has degraded so much over the past like five years that this is, this is main channel material now. So the issue is you're trying to install Windows 7 via bootcamp on a Mac, on a version of macOS that still lets you do that, but when you are partway through the install process, it reboots and presents you with this error. The workaround process ideally requires two blank USB flash drives, but if you've only got one on hand, that's fine. The process is slightly different, but I'll cover both options. First up, run Bootcamp Assistant as normal in macOS on a blank USB flash drive, creating a Windows Server install drive and a partition for Windows on the Mac. Once that's done, open up the drive you've just created and copy this folder off it and rename it to new drivers or just anything as long as you know what it is. If you're doing this with two USB drives, take the second one and copy this new drivers folder onto it. If you're doing this with one flash drive, you can upload the new drivers folder onto your cloud storage platform of choice, although I'd recommend compressing the folder into a zip first. Next, download the file from the link in the description and extract it. All this is, is older versions of the drivers which don't cause the error and we can update from later. Copy these folders you've just extracted onto the USB installer drive, the first one, and when prompted to either keep both, skip or replace, choose replace. Restart the Mac and hold Alt on Startup to access the boot menu, from which you can then boot into the USB installer. Follow the usual steps from here to install Windows on the bootcamp partition, ensuring you format it as NTFS during setup from the drive options, advanced options, and Windows should install successfully but be missing a lot of basic drivers. At this point, you technically have two options. You can either go through the whole rigmarole of getting macOS to be able to write to NTFS partitions if you're that way inclined, or already have that set up, but that varies between OSs and as far as I know can be a bit dodgy. So your other option, and the one I'll be covering here, is to create a bootable Linux USB drive to finish the process. I've used Linux Mint here, but you can use your preferred distro if you'd rather. You can create the drive using a program like Etcher or Rufus, and if you want more in-depth help with this, there are plenty of standalone tutorials online to create a live Linux USB drive. Once you've got your Linux drive up and running, boot into it just like you did with the Windows installer holding Alt on Startup, and if you're using two USB drives, plug in the second one if you unplugged it, and copy the new drivers folder from it into a folder that you'll remember in your Windows partition, which is accessible here from within Linux. I'd recommend just sticking it on your desktop or in your downloads folder for simplicity. If you're using one USB drive and you uploaded your new drivers folder into the cloud, log into your cloud storage account in Linux, download and unzip the folder, and move the extracted folder onto the Windows partition in the same way. Shut down Linux, boot back into Windows, Alt on Startup as usual, and you can now go through and run the driver installers that you just injected from Linux, and once that's done you should be ready to go. Some of them will give you a weirdly menacing error, but I'm sure it's fine given that we just downloaded these from Apple. This is just presumably a certificate related issue that is what was causing the error in the first place. But doing it this way should be fine. So that's all.